everybody welcome back it's Theodore here and today we're gonna be doing something really fun something really interesting I'm gonna be looking at the photos that I took with the La Sardina from Shanghai this guy right here I was able to take um, I want to say about 32 ish pictures with it um, and then the rest of the pictures I actually took back here in America at grocery stores and whatnot it's just like it says 27 on here. I don't know. I should read the box first before I actually like go out to take photos, but there's actually 36 exposures. So the film that I used was the Lomography 400 color film right here. And there's actually 36 exposures and I should read that before I go out and take pictures because I'm seriously like just sitting there like, Okay, um, I, sh I think there's 27 exposures that should be done now, but no, there's 36 exposures. So I ended up taking just random photos towards the end of the video, and you guys will see that. I just like take photos of like the grocery store stuff. But yeah, I hope that's interesting to you guys. And so yeah, let's get going. <laughs> nice. Something got in my eye. Yeah. It's like the bug.
Okay, do I just dole it like this? I don't know if I, is this the right? Oh, no, 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 you can flip it over like okay. this. I'm gonna take a picture using this camera, okay? Definitely. It's like, it's like there are like three people go traveling with us, Tao. <laughs> Okay, I did it. It's like it's like they're like your your like relatives or something. It's better than my own relative. My own relatives don't even want to take a picture with me. Okay. We're here again it's, it's coming up. at night at the bun. We are at the it's bun. Out, it's over there actually. There's a lot. Look at there's no, no but there's a ton over take there. Take that one. Okay, fine, we'll take Are you sure that's oh look! I love Shanghai! It's, it's right there! It's not that no, building. It's hot over there too. <coughs> you make me wait on the wrong freaking one. Hurry, it's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. I, oh I, my god! It's giving me a whole show. It's like, which one do you like? I want the first one. Give me the I love Shanghai. Oh, Just I, plain I I love Shanghai. I love Shanghai. Well, I Shanghai. Oh, I'm recording this. Hey. I think it's turning on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's on. <laughs> It's on! Okay, now I can take a picture. I'm gonna put it onto bulb mode because it's dark right now. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. I'm probably gonna count to like 10. Wow. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Do you wanna do you want me to hold it? 
Or you got it here. Oh. Okay, you got it. I probably have one more. Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Am I done? All right, well, oh. you know better than I do. I'm gonna take a picture of that side. Am I done with the film? <laughs> oh my god, I still have so much film. It says I only have 27 exposures though. Weird. What is this? Mm -hmm. Take a picture on this side. Yeah, but you shouldn't just take it aimlessly. That's true. Anyway. Okay. Yes, I, I'm just gonna take it because I have like so many left. I thought I have only 27 exposures. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Do I just hit that? Yeah. Like the red button again? Mm -hmm. So I realized in the, the last photo that I took, it wasn't like um, my, my lens cap was still on. So I, rede I redeemed myself and I retook those pictures. I hope they turn out well because I had to like rewind the film and then I'd advance the film again. So I don't know, it might overlap, but I'm really hoping it doesn't. But if it overlaps, then that's just the nature of it and it'll just look cool, I hope. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like... I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm supposed to be done by now, but the photos, uh, the, this roll of film, I really don't know. I think there's probably like 36 exposures or something, but there's just so much photos to take and I don't know. Anyways, I redid it. I found a spot. This, this is just the ramen aisle at the grocery store.
Um, but here I am today. I only got two minutes on my camera because it's almost running out of batteries. But I need to take this film out and I gotta go develop it. Gotta send it in, go develop it. And I figured you guys probably wanna see what that looks like. Crap, I don't wanna do that. So, hurts. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yay. Okay. Now I can open it. Yay. Okay. I'm just hoping my film in here <laughs> There's actually pictures, you know? Um, okay. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna send this in. Alrighty guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me take photos on the La Sardina. And I had so much fun, like I had no idea that the pictures would come out just so well. Some of the portions of the video I did take pictures with bulb mode on. And the thing for bulb mode is, is that you have to take a picture with it like a tripod or something. So you're like holding it still like this because your hands aren't always still like, you may think it's like still, the reality of it is you're, you probably move like a centimeter and then over here, then here, and here like that. And you don't know it, right? So with bulb mode, I've learned to put my camera on a tripod, hold the button, like push the button and then let go. That's how you should take bulb mode pictures. But I was traveling, you know, not really thinking much, you know. But I really do like some of the pictures with bold mode on. It turned out to be like light painting pictures, which is so cool. I can never get light painting done right, but um, I, I was able to do it on this guy, which is bizarre because it's really hard to do light painting. And especially with an uh, analog camera like this, it worked out just fine. I do wish that I did like get like a night photo of um, the bond, Shanghai, the bond, but I'm like, I don't know. I, I thought I got it through the bulb mode picture, but I guess I did. Another thing for this camera is that it's extremely easy to use. Like my friend who does not even know how to use cameras, like she has a hard time using my um, Fujifilm X100T and also the SQ10, like she didn't have any problems using this camera. It's pretty easy. All I had to do was wind it for her and then give it to her and okay, take a picture. And the only thing is that I just have to take the lens cap off. Otherwise, she'll just look through this and think that that's what she's seeing through, through the lens. But yeah, but sometimes it's not. And then if you forget, you're like, oh my gosh, like if you forget to take the lens cap off, which I forget like 80% of the time, like every time like I would take pictures, I look at the camera and I'm like, oh, the lens cap isn't off. So like I have to rewind it back, which is kind of cool. Like if, you, if you've already advanced your film and you think you can't go back, well, you just have to rewind it um, till it goes back to the number previous on here. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Then you just retake your pictures on it and it works, which is really nice because I don't want um, an exposure to go to waste, you know? That's that's just a waste of film. But yeah, I had so much fun with this camera. I really want to put a lot more stickers on here, um, but so far I only have Jungkook and his stick um, and his hearts and stuff like that, which is by itself is pretty cute. But um, yeah, I want to put more in the back and stuff. I want to put like tiny ones because I have a tiny sticker theme going on right now. So yeah, I wanted to buy stickers from Shanghai, like I love Shanghai or something like that, but I didn't really come across any. So yeah, whatever. But yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me take photos with the La Sardina. And if you guys did, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.